coming to the types of DNA. There are three types of uh, DNA are there. Okay, one is B form, other one is A form, and other one is Z form. Okay, so A form is also like uh, similar to uh, B form of the uh, DNA. Okay, and when you are talking about the B form, this B form DNA we do have. Okay, this is the commonest form of uh, DNA. The Watson uh, and Crick proposal a DNA model is similar to B form. Okay, and it is a right handed double helix. Okay, it is a right handed double helix right handed double helical okay in nature okay and the there are like uh, two types of grooves are there minor grooves are there major grooves are there okay and uh, the helix of the uh, pitch of the helix of the uh, dna molecule is uh, 3.40 nanometers okay and the distance between the two base okay in the dna molecule okay the distance between the bases in the DNA molecule is 0.33 nanometers. As I said, A form is also a bit similar to uh, B form of uh, DNA. And coming to the Z form, so A and B both are right hand helical in nature. But the prominent difference is with the D, uh, Z form of DNA, it is a left hand helical. So in competitive exam, this they sometimes they will ask which form of the DNA is uh, right hand or which form of the DNA is a uh, left hand helical in nature okay so you should say whenever there is a left hand helical nature dna that is z type okay it is completely different from a bit beta a b form of uh, dna okay and major difference is it's a left handed helical one and zigzag in nature compared with a and b forms you see here the difference b dna is a commonest to us and a dna which is similar to the b form and Z DNA, okay, which is left hand helical and zigzag in nature. So, coming to one more DNA to discuss mitochondrial DNA. So, as we said in the beginning, so 1% of the DNA do exist uh, not in nucleus but in mitochondria. That means mitochondria are independent uh, like uh, uh, molecules which can regenerate their DNA in their own, okay. And uh, the DNA type of DNA it is a small circular one, okay, the DNA which is present. It is also a double stranded one okay and it belongs like uh, how much it accounts 1% of total, uh, total cellular DNA and it is transmitted by maternal non mendelian inheritance okay okay only mothers can uh, mother chromosomes uh, do have this uh, mitochondrial DNA okay not the father okay and what is the purpose of this mitochondrial DNA? It codes for a small fraction of mitochondrial proteins specific to the mitochondria. Okay, what are the metabolic pathways that are existing in the like Krebs cycle or electron transport chain or uh, beta oxidation of uh, fatty acids? So all these type metabolic pathways uh, they do require enzymes. So these uh, are coded by this mitochondrial DNA. Okay, and all proteins are synthesized in cytoplasm, uh, which are supposed to be transported to mitochondria. Okay, so this is the significance of uh, mitochondrial DNA.